Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and this is, I can't even remember the name, uh, Sure Footing. It is available on Steam for eleven forty nine, and it is a fast and frantic infinite runner. The controls right off the, wow, that's loud, hold up. Oh my god, the controls are kind of strange. Turn that down a whole bunch too. Okay. It's really loud still. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold the skip. Yes, please. Yeah. Wow, you need to be quieter, dude. I can't... It crashed. It didn't crash. It just alt-tabbed. Um, it, it's, it's dead. I killed it by opening up the, the options menu. Okay, it's gone. Look, this is the experience of playing it, okay? Just to be sure, this is what you get when you play this game. This is my experience with it. I show you the good, I show you the bad. Okay? I'm not giving anybody any favorites here. I'm not giving anybody any uh, preference here, you know? It's, uh... God, the, the, the controls are super strange, though. I'm gonna just turn that down a whole bunch. Somewhere around there. Okay. God, it's still so loud. Like, can you be quieter? <laughs> you know? Can we start moving? Can I speed up a little bit? I will say, the yeah is really loud and really annoying. It is, it is quite loud and quite annoying. Oh, you can, like, jump up that. That's cool, I guess. So I don't think I have any control over anything other than spacebar to jump. There's something coming up behind us, man. Careful. Careful. Okay. Can I hold down space to jump farther? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool. I don't like bouncing into those so much. They kind of mess me up, to be honest. I think these little things that I'm picking up are speed boosts, perhaps. Because it feels like it's getting faster when I pick them up, but I don't know. I don't know to be sure. Smack him, dude. Smack him. Maybe I have to jump over those. I have to not hit him. I want. I thought I had to hit him, but maybe I have to specifically try to not hit them. Really? You just thread that needle there? Okay. Sounds good to me, dude. Power 174 megabytes a second. Wow, that's a big jump. Holy cow. The levels are not, uh, really... They're weird because you have to, like... I don't know, it's, it's, it's easy, it feels like it's easy to, yeah, like, do that. And, uh, you just kinda... Like, there, there's nothing you can do... Sometimes, but... Like, I'm a big fan of Infinite Runners. Big fan. Uh, the jumping up there feels weird, and the camera moving around, like, all, all over the place is, uh, also quite undesirable like it is bouncing everywhere the camera and it is bad super super bad <laughs> the camera not not good I just could easily give you motion sickness if you're if you're prone to that we have to go fast man the hands the hands are gonna get us I believed. I believed implicitly. Should I have? No, I had no reason to. That's obviously not going to actually put us on that. It's just going to... Like, I don't get why it's there. Same with that thing. Like, I just... I don't get it, you know? 
Like, I don't know, man. Some of these just feel like I can't really stop them, you know? Sometimes it just feels like, yeah, there's nothing I can do, and uh, I just have to kind of accept that sometimes it's just it's just RNG whether or not you can make it through like an infinite runner. I just, uh, for me, that's not very fun. But I do like it when it works. I love infinite runners, generally speaking. I think they're fun. I can do this for 20 minutes, absolutely. 170 megabytes a second. It's really like a virus or like data or something. Sounds good. I don't know. The, uh, the, oh, the camera is really, really frustrating, honestly. And this like weird jump thing is, yeah, it's just, it doesn't feel good to play. Unfortunately, I wish it did so that I could say it feels good to play. It doesn't feel good to play. It really just doesn't, you know? The soundtrack's a banger, though. I'm into the soundtrack. Not the woo thing, but the the the, uh, the music itself is, is quite pleasing. Despite, like, what am I supposed to do there? It was is that even possible to make it? Like, I didn't have a control on that. It was just the boost pad just didn't boost me to where I had to go. There there was literally no way to make. That was just a hard fail. You couldn't, you couldn't do that. that that's kind of what I got a problem with this game. It's just sometimes it feels like there's just absolutely nothing you can do. And it's, you, you're just predestined to fail. Which feels really bad to me. Otherwise, the game's really great. If you like Infinite Runners, it's fantastic. Except for that one major flaw where, where you can just die. Because, you know, no control. You just die. No control. You just die. That's really, really aggravating, honestly. Like, I don't think there's anything I can do there. I bounced on the bounce pad. I just... The bounce pad just didn't take me far enough. That might kill me as well. Nope. Fantastic. Alright, alright. <laughs> Time to see if we can set a new high score for ourselves. I wish we could move faster. I want to go faster. I don't have a problem reacting to the stuff. The problem is just the camera's moving out and then uh, the stuff just not being, like, working. Power 328 megabytes a second. I'm pretty sure if I jumped on the actual thing, we would have died. Like, again? Ooh, it was close. Please make it. Please make it. Okay. We're being chased by the weird hand thing back there, but... It's got a face on it as well. Yeah, let's try and see if we can make this. Like, it's close. Yeah, it's, uh... Hi. What are you doing? Am I supposed to somehow... Okay. Cool. Okay, that's brutal, dude. What am I supposed... What do I... <laughs> I'm just supposed to know that I go on the bottom one there? Like... Mmm. Mmm. I was really into this one when I looked at it on the on the Steam thing. You know, sometimes when I'm browsing through my Steam library, I, I find some games and I'm like, uh, yeah, today's the Amjack tries. I just I don't have any options. It's not going to be very good. Today I, I saw it and I was like, oh, this looks actually like really fun. And uh, I was I was sorely mistaken. It's uh, very unfortunate because it was so promising. If not for, it's not hard, right? It's not hard. It's not like it's you, you make mistakes and then you die. It's just sometimes you die and you just have to deal with that. And with an infinite runner, I feel like I want to just keep running forever, you know? 
I don't want to have to like just bounce into something because I hit something and then die, you know? Like what almost happened there? We we knocked the things. We went on the the bounce pad, and then uh, like anything that I can interact with, in my opinion, in, a, in an infinite runner, should be interactable in a, in a positive manner. You know, if I jump at the wrong time, that should kill me. If I hop on a bounce pad, that shouldn't kill me. You know, if I hop on a on a bounce pad or a bounce block or something, those shouldn't be the death of me. You know, it should be it should be entirely on whether or not. I, I jumped at the right time or not, in my opinion, anyway. Come make it, please make it, please make it. Like you're not, you're not even supposed to be able to get up there. Is the thing like it just? I feel like what happens is the like algorithm just goes okay. We put a high thing and then we put a bounce thing before it, and you'll you'll make it up there. But like it just doesn't work that way, you know? Like we're gonna die here. And there's there's absolutely nothing I could do besides not hitting the bounce block. Like <laughs> nothing I could do besides just not hitting the bounce block. I can't jump twice. A a, da a second a second jump would be. Would fix everything with this game, I think. I think I think that if you had a second jump, you'd be able to fix everything wrong with this game, and make it like genuinely like a really solid, fun little infinite runner. But uh, you know, they didn't do that. <laughs> they they gave you one, one jump, and uh, suffer. One jump and suffer. That's the the current plan with this game, which is uh, unfortunate because it could have been so good. Yeah, it's what it is. It is what it is. We'll continue playing it for 20 minutes. I'm not having a bad time, you know. I'm just... Oh, well, that one was me. But it wasn't on me. Because I actually survived. And it went the right way. Um, I'm not having a bad time. I'm just not having the best time, you know. That's frustrating. That's frustrating, for sure. When that kind of stuff happens, it just it feels bad. And unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it, you know? I mean, that was me. That one, that one's on me. I'll, 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 give, I'll give them that one. Or you can, like, move the camera, kind of, to see what's coming ahead. Does that help me any? Eh. Not really... We stop doing this stupid like zooming in and out thing. Oh. Do I even need to? No, I have to. It won't let me not. Thought maybe I could uh, slide my way in there, you know? Can I just jump up here and then get yeeted down? Yes, I can. That feels good. You know, like it's, it's everything about this game is fantastic, ex except for. When there's nothing you can do, and you just die. Other than that, it feels really, really good to play. See, like that death, I messed up, and I feel good about that. You know? I'm like, shoot, I could have done better. You know, it's not like this stupid block where if I touch it, I die. I mean, that, that actually wouldn't bother me either. But like this one, where if you touch it, you die. That bothers me. You know? It's like, I guess, I guess if they made the death blocks like spikes, it would be fine. But since they're like the same as like normal bounce blocks that sometimes you want, you know, sometimes you want to be on the bounce block. Sometimes you really want to make sure you're not on the bounce block. And it's like, well, what, what do I want? You know, like that. I just, uh, for me, I, I want, I want. There to be a clear delineation between things that are positive and things that are negative. You know, I want uh, a bounce block to be either good or bad. You know, unfortunately, it's both, and it's like, well, you have to decide: is this a good one or a bad one? Can you bounce on it or can you not? And, and that's outside the spirit of uh, like that's a good one. This is a good one. Um, and it's that's outside the spirit of the infinite runners, in my opinion, which are supposed to be more simple and. 
and uh, you know, straightforward. You, know, you have one button to push, you know? And the camera keeps moving around. That's another bad part, but that that's a minor issue. An issue nonetheless, but a minor one. You know, without without the camera issue, it would still be like a maybe three out of ten. Without the weird death blocks every now and then, probably like a four out of ten in my opinion. I like infinite runners, I do, I genuinely do. Just not this one. And it's just because of you know, garbage like that where there would just okay, this yeah, okay. Where there where there's just occasionally not an option for you to take that, that gets you through. You know? Oh well. Oh well. It's okay. What the heck happened there? <laughs> that's just jank. I'm not gonna blame them for that one, okay? That that's only happened once. I won't fault them there. Like if the yellow ones were always death, I'm into it. The issue is that sometimes the other ones aren't instant death. Sometimes the blue ones are. I'm complaining a lot. Lately, we've had a lot of Yamcheck tries that I've been complaining on. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to pick games that are, like, fun every single time, you know? Give me advice in the comments, you know? Give me uh, games you want me to try out, and I'll, uh, I'll give them a try. Like, what am I supposed to do there? That was almost a death, and I just had no control over it. It just... doesn't feel good really really doesn't you know it would be a good idea for me to like when I get these games that are like super bad to just kind of yeet them you know to just yeet the game and then never play it again and just be like yeah it sucks I'm not gonna actually play it on uh, on camera we'll just find another one to play but like I said it's hard to find games that are good it's hard to find games to play in the first place it takes me a lot to find even this game I have so many games to go through, and so many of them are just, like, not interesting to me. It's hard to find a game to play. We'll go up. I think you can hurt that guy if you pop the, uh, the blue things. The blue block, the blue box, the, the blue bounce cubes, the blue bounce boxes. You're going down, down, down here, man. How do you get the roll? Is it just the maximum length jump that you roll into? We're gonna die now because this thing doesn't give us an option? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> uh. I wanna bounce on this. This might kill me, but... Wow, that was not even a big jump. Don't land in the blue coopoos. Land on the blue cube, please. I wanted to land on it. I've mastered this game. If you haven't noticed. I have achieved absolute mastery over this game. No longer can I be destroyed. Alright! Uh, that's gonna do it. This has been... I don't even remember the name. Um, sure footing. It's available for, what was it, 11.49? Canadian? 11.49 Canadian on Steam, I believe? God, it's gone. It's gone. I don't have it anymore. It's available for 11.49 Canadian on Steam. If it interests you, pick it up. If you like infinite runners that are not hard, but unforgiving go for it. Not for me. Not my cup of tea. I want another Yamajack tries that I really liked. We had the Neurovorda yesterday. And then two in a row that just kind of don't tickle my fancy. The soundtrack in this is dope, though. I love it. But gameplay. Mm. Any hoozle. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Like the video. Subscribe. Comment. Blah, 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 blah. Bye. Shorter video. I wasn't having fun. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suffer. <laughs> Bye.